Now let's take a look at the secondary sector of the economy. The secondary sector involves the finishing of goods from the primary sector for both industry and consumer use. Examples include manufacturing, construction, food, and textiles. These are highly energy intensive industries as well. This map shows the industrial regions of the world, uh, including the so-called world industrial belt, which doesn't include Detroit or Southern Ontario, but oh well. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, there are major industrial regions in the United States, as well as Europe and China, and uh, some in Southern and Southeastern Asia. Let's talk about energy production. Energy is a crucial component in all three sectors of the economy, particularly in manufacturing. On an individual level, 13% of the world has no access to electricity which essentially means that uh, there's little access to light during the night and uh, they essentially work with the sun. Renewable energy consumption is a long way from dominating the market as shown by this diagram here, which uh, displays coal, oil, and gas being dominant sectors. How can we encourage sustainable energy production? What are some current methods developed and how viable are they? I'll give you a second to brainstorm for this. So some traditional solutions include carbon taxation and trading schemes. Uh, for example, Canada's carbon tax. Incentives to promote renewable energy production like wind, solar, and hydro are common. Greener infrastructure is also promoted, like green roofs, urban farming, and green vehicles. Uh, some unconventional ideas include uh, converting algal biomass to fuels. However, I'm not going to let this video play. And another unconventional idea is using heat from transportation systems to heat buildings, like from the London Underground where a large fan collects waste heat from the subway line, generating steam, which is distributed through underground pipes. 